Okay, we're going to begin now on Nevshachayim Shar Aleph Perak Beis, um, which is obviously a continuation of Shar Aleph Perak Aleph, um, explaining two halves of a whole. The, the term that we're talking about here is Selam Alakim, which the Rufayim told us in the Shar Perak Aleph, that Roy Sisrei Pnimius Hazoyer is Zitzlal in the word Selam Alekim. Roy, I, I mentioned that I, I was a little bit joking, but a little bit serious, that it's Roy, not not Roy. There's, there's, there's other things in Sisrei Torah which are not part of the Selam Alekim, because just to put it in simple uh, language, Selam Alekim, let's say, is from here down. But there's up here also. Partsufim, all kinds of things, which is more the Kabbalah that we don't get into. <laughs> Only because, not because there's any kind of an Aveira or because we've heard as kids, you know, you go crazy if you, just simply it's just, it's, it's very difficult to uh, understand uh, what any of those things mean because it's completely Lamala from our experience. But Salam Alekim, I think we can understand if we, uh, if we concentrate, and uh, this is this is not easy, uh, Lima, but uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to try. Um, so we learned that at Selem, let me just go very quickly, um, Selem Elohim. So last week we talked what's Selem, and this week we're going to talk about what's Elohim. Selem Elohim. And Selem, image, Selem Elohim, God, man was created in God's image, <laughs> seems, uh, Selem Elohim seems almost, um, God's image seems almost trite. Know what it refers to, but what we spoke about was this: that um, Hakadosh Baruch Hu made the world. When he created the world, he created it in different levels. There's the level of domain, the level of Sameach, There's a level of Chai. There's a level of Medaber. So domain is inanimate objects. Dom domain. Um, Sameach is something which already grows and has some life to it. Vegetation. Sameach. Which is different than a chai, which is already an animal, from dog, cats, lions, tigers, bears, chai, people. Um, and then there's medaber, those, those creations which can talk. And every one of those levels is its level plus, which is important to understand that a, that a chai is a domain plus, um, or to take it to the top. Um, a, a medaber, which is us, has it right, an intelligent being and a being that can actually talk, articulate, um, and as we understand it, not just survival, but can actually articulate and think through a, a thought and articulate it, which is the ultimate in understanding something. So, but we have some domain in us, and we have some tzomeach in us. As I pointed out last week, when a person loses all of his capacity of thinking and moving, and you know, even he's not even like an animal, so he's a vegetable. But he's still he's still alive. He's not a domain. When a person dies, basically he's a do, he's a domain. Right? They, they offer, he comes and offer tashu. Offer offer is is domain. So so there's like a you know right now, gentlemen, we're all at our peak. Our medaber. <laughs> You know, like we're at our peak, but um, there's all of this is everything plus, and the significance is that, um, as, as the Zayar says, that when Akedush Baruch Hu created man, so he he gathered together Kivyachal just as a way to understand it. So we tell a nice story. It's not really, I'm sure, what happened, but it's just a story. But uh, the, that he 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 met he met with all of the different creations that he made. Domain, Sameya, Chai. And he says, let us, all these cultures together, create man. Meaning everyone had to, had to all the creations of the world had to agree, approve, to, to the creation of Medaber because, well, this is Medaber, we, we, we thought we were on top. Now this is, there's, you're going even further. So there's an added value to every one of the levels that exists that makes it something um, a, like a quantum difference between that and, and that which is which is before it. And and there's Medaber, according to the Arizal, there's also Kla Yisrael. Meaning, like the, the, the um, 
it said, somebody told me that it's an Arizo, I never saw this Arizo, that, that every, every, um, every level has its lowest and its highest. So um, there, there are, I'm not, I don't know enough about uh, science to, to understand, to know the, the actual facts, but there is domain things which are rocks, which are, which are almost plant-like. Maybe it grows moss or something, algae. <laughs> you know, and then there's, there's plants that are almost lifelike. <laughs> you know, and, then, and, then, and, then, and there are... Coral, coral might be like... Coral. Coral. Kind of I was like, I coral, not algae. Yeah. yeah, and then there are, there are animals that are almost man-like, like, uh, you know, like an ape. So it's, it's sort of a, a reverse evolution, maybe? Like, it's, it's a... Um, and then there, there, are, there are different le levels of, of Madaber. Um, you know, there are people that are ape-like. And then there's the very, very sophisticated or very, very um, developed level of man, which that's what we're supposed to be, uh, which you can get through Torah. That's what Torah is. Like, here's how you pull this thing to the, to the, to the highest. We're still not God. Like, you know, we're still limited. And we still die and all that. But, uh, it's, but it's, it's bringing it up to like a real high level as much as you could do with the creation of, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's why um, the Torah says that that uh, that the, there was a chitas, there was a certain uh, a fear or an awe of the whole world to man because it, it, what what has awe of something like what's of, like if we're we're not in awe of a table, but we might be in awe of the creator of the table if he did something we can't do. You know, if you hear a musician uh, playing something that we can't play, like it's awesome. It's, 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 it's right where it crosses over what we can't do that's what's awesome if you're a musician you're awesome is at a higher is, a, is at a higher level correct right well, yes, there's a musician. we have a lot of musicians here, actually but it's true right so like in other words like so I could be impressed with you know blah blah blah, blah you know but but somebody who's a real musician <laughs> you know is is um, is looking for like that that exact no wow you know it's like a wow everything's like, so, so that's what Selim is. So, so when we talk about Selim, that a Kaddish Baruch who created us in a Selim, what we really mean by that is that Selim is the part which is the, the added value over Domeim Chai, over Domeim Tzumei Chai. And then Medaber, it's the Selim that we're created, but Selim, that's what, that's what makes us different than a rock and everything going up to it. This is the Selim. So if you want to concentrate on um, what our, you know, true strength is, the idea is not to act like an, like an animal, although we have that ability, you know, but we're not going to be as good at it as animals at the end. We're, st we're still not going to be able to um, have, um, um, you know, eagle, um, eagle, what's it called? Eagle eyes. Eagle, eagle, eyes. eagle, eagle eyes. eyes, yeah, we're still not going to be eagle eyes. So we have a little eagle in us, but or, che or cheetah feet, right? Or cheetah feet, right? Unless you're like Daniel Boone. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy saying these things and watching everybody over fifty. Like, <laughs> 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 okay. I, like, I like an eagle. It's like, but it's not even a sheva, really. I mean, it's it's good that all of the Bahamis and have a sheva Bahamis and this is working well, but that's not our. Big Milo, like you know, probably like I don't know if uh, you know, many of Chazal were like they could hardly see. You know, they didn't have glasses and those things. You know, the Gemara is full of like they couldn't even see. You know, but uh, they didn't have an eye like an eagle. But they 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 and twinkled the the higher part, which is the Tzelim. So that's the Tzelim that we spoke about. Tzelim Elokim makes it that much more complex on the one hand, but much more beautiful on, on the other hand. That's what we, we're up to here in Parak Base. And um, yeah, I need you to really like stay with me here because um, a little bit of knowledge is dangerous, and we're starting with a little bit of knowledge. So even less is really dangerous. But, so, Amnon, Lahavin Inyan Amroy, to understand that which he said, he being Hashem, Bitzelam Elikim Daika, that not only were created Bitzalmoi. And remember where I read to the Pasuk, it says it like, it's like repeated in the Pasuk. Baruch HaLakim, Baruch HaLakim, B'Tsalmoi, B'Tsalem, Elohim, Tavnisa. Stay there. B'Tsalmoi, 
could mean a lot of things. It's not, so you go into klal uprat. B'tzela malikim tav nisa. The, the deal here is that Hashem has so many names, obviously for because there's so many different aspects to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but the one that we are um, somewhat similar to is the Elohim part of it. Selam Elohim. We're not Selam Shakai. We're not Selam Yudke Vavke, Selam Havaya. It would actually be um, a kfira to say that. Yeah, we're we you know, if a person wants to sound Kabbalistic and says we're creating the Tselem of Havaya. No, <laughs> we're not we're not Bitzel, we're Bitzelam Elohim. That's what the Torah says. It makes a big difference. Daika, be Madaik in that. Veloy Shame Acher, no other name of Hashem. Ki. Shame Elohim. The name Elohim, every name means something different. The name of Elohim, Yadua Pirushai, it's well known what it means. Shuhumora which it, it, what it means is Shehu Yisbarach Shemo, when we say Hashem, Hu, Hu Elohim, Hashem, Hu, Hu Elohim, Shehu Moira, Shehu Yisbarach Shemo, Baal HaKoychais Kulam. He's the Baal HaKoychais Kulam, Kemoshe Mavura Betur Arachayim Simen Hay. So we start off with a very simple um, idea, which the tour says, and that is that, that and I just want to, I have to pull the tour out to be able to look at it inside. But the tour is in Simon Hay. And what I want to point out to you is that the tour doesn't say this. Yeah. The past is, it says, the, the tour here is speaking about, you know, the tour is, uh, is the forerunner to the Shulchan Aruch. So um, the Shulchan Aruch is based on the tour, but with the, so it really just like like the Shulchan Aruch to the tour is almost like the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch is to the Shulchan Aruch, but um, with no disrespect to the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch, tremendous amount of chachma in it, like he, tremendous amount of chachma. Not just he was mekatzer to, to make it Shulchan Aruch lefanecha, but but he there's a tremendous amount of chachma in his hachra between the different sheets that the tour brings. But the tour had the idea of Simon Aleph, Simon Bay, Simon Gimel didn't exist to my knowledge um, before that, did it? I don't think so. I don't think there was any Simon Aleph, Simon Bay, or Chaim, or Chaim, or Nezer, I don't think all that. That, that was the tour's Chiddush. So in Simon Hay, he talks about the halachas of Kavanos, Kavanosai, Bibirchosai, Ubahaskar Sajan, beginning of Archaim, Simon Hay. What's the Kavanah when you make a bracha? And when you say the shame, meaning you have to have kavana. The tour says, that just to make a bracha and to spit out a bracha um, is is almost meaningless. I'm not sure if it has any purpose at all. Not sure. Uh, I uh, investigated for years whether there's any purpose of making uh, like masasik. <laughs> just to, uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's any purpose in it. Maybe, but. Um, Somebody said, well, it's a good habit, but really, you think about it, it's a bad habit. <laughs> it's not a good habit at all. It's a, it's a bad habit, you know. It's like, it's, I mean, I, is there any value in saying thank you, let's say, if you don't, if you don't uh, think about what you're saying? Or you don't mean it? Or you don't understand it? You know, say thank you. So your parrot says thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> like, was it, you're just parroting something. What's the point? So the Shulchan Aruch says, the tour says anyways, you have to have Kabbalah with your bracha. So what's the Kabbalah? No Kabbalah here. Pure Shemilas. Shemot CBP. You have to understand at least the words that you're saying. Ubaskira, okay, that's all easy when we say Borei Minei Mazonos or Shakol Niavid or Baruch even Atah. But the problem is Hashem Alekeinu. Like what's the pure Shemilas? How do you even, if you have to have Kavana and the Pir Shamilas, what's the Pir Shamilas? So it's important that the that the Shulchan Aruch explains what these words mean, because otherwise we don't have Kavana. Baskira Hashem, that's Baruch Ata Adonai, right? Yechavim Pirush Kriyasai, Baal of Dalad, Lashin Adnushu Adon Ko. When you if you if it's in the Siddur, so it says Yudke Vavke, which we don't say. That's Hoga Bos Yosef. You're not allowed to say that. Um, in the more modern Sidurim in the last couple hundred years, so instead of saying Yud Kevav it says Yud Yud, which as a uh, publisher and a printer I think is a mistake. It should not be. 
I'll tell you why. But I think according to the Torah it shouldn't be. If you look at the authentic Sephardi Sidurim, it says Yudke Vavke. So they're right. What's Yud Yud? Uh, they were afraid to, a piece of paper in the print shop is going to go to, to uh, you know, to the garbage or be stepped on, which it is. You know, uh, you want to write Yud Vavke. Understood. Um, but uh, so when we talk about Yud Vavke, we don't read it like that. It's a funny thing. Only Jews do this. It says Yud Vavke, but we read it Adonai. Like Ksiv and a Kri. So, Haskira Hashem, so says the Torah, that when you're saying the shame, Pirish Kri, Yechavim Pirish Kriyasai, you shouldn't have Kavana for how it's written, you should have Kavana for how it's said. Alev Dalad, Lashen Adno, Shuhu Adon Kol. He's the master, blessed art thou, <laughs> master of the universe. Adon Kol. Don't say any word about Boreal. <coughs> Be precise. Adon call. Adon Allah Masher Malach Right? What does it, what does it mean? Adon call. The master. I still don't know what it means, but that's what it means. Like a, like a servant has, like a slave has a master. Adon call. A master. Adnos. Bichavein oi pirush. And another thing you should think about is pirush ksivasa. You have to also keep in mind the ksiva of it. So even though you don't say it, you should also keep in mind Pirish Ksivasai, Biyud Hey. Loshin Havaya. What does the word mean? Yud Hey Vav Hey. It's a Loshin Havaya or Hoya. Existence. Existence. Or in the words of Chazal Shu, Hoya Hove Viyya. Was, he is, he will be. It, it's, not, it's not a drasha. It means existence. Yud Ke Vav Ke means the very the existence unto itself. Well, now I'll say that, but says the tour, you still have kavana. So you really have to stop for a second. This takes at least a second, no? You really have to stop and say, Hashem, Baruch Hashem. Forget about that. So we're, we're, what the ikr is, what we're saying, Adonai. But there's another thing of the fact that it's written there. So that's why I say it's probably not such a, uh, a great idea to have Yud Yud in your sitter because you're supposed to look at it and have kavana. So now you gotta go in next, you have to have kavana. And like I, like I said in the, uh, in the um, Sephardi Sidurim, where they stuck to a tradition, not only does it say yud ke vav ke, but it says on top of it, ho yehovah ve like it says, says the pshat in many Sidurim. So well, they also write the they also write the Aladala name inside the letters. Yeah, the, the yahad nehu, yeah. So that's um, the 91, which is the combination of the two names. Some cities have both. What? Some cities have both. You, you, and why? I mean, why would they have both? I don't know why. I've seen. Um, not next to each other. Right? Now, the, now the, the, the Vilna Gaon says, by the way, just to, while we're on the halacha, that uh, it's an extra credit to to um, to have kavana for the seed. The Iker kavana is the creed. This is the Birag Gaon Shulchan Aruch. He says that you, and Mishnah Bura brings this that that. If, you, if it's hard to have two kavanas, so have one kavana, which is the, because it always goes after the kri, not after the ksi. So it's logical. That's the way you read it. I don't call. I don't So that's the one that's ma'akiv, and that's what the Mishnah Burr brings this beer I grow. But, um, but the Torah says you should have both kavanas. He doesn't say that it's uh, l'chatchila. He says you have both kavanas. Lin yanenu. Ubaz elikim. So we got, now we understand. Um, I don't know. It. Both in its ksiv and its kri, or Hashem el lokeinu. Now this um, this disappears obviously a lot. For instance, Brachus bara el lokim as Hashemayim v'zaretz anochi Hashem el lokecha. I am the el which was Brachus bara el lokim, and I'm the one Asher otzei sumi mitzrayim. That was all shame el lokim. Hashem who el lokim. So what is the el <laughs> So el is something different than than Hashem. Vaskira Elikim, Barakato Hashem Elokeinu, Shma Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu, like that Elokeinu, Yechaven Shehu Takiv, that he's the strong one, Ba'amitz. Strong, I'm not. Strong and powerful. Asher Loi Hayecholus Bel Yonim Uvetachtonim. And he is the one that has the ability, Yecholus, 
both in the higher worlds and even the world we live in, or all the lower worlds, ki, 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 ki el, loshen koach, mi chamocha ba'elim Hashem. Right, you don't say ba'elim Hashem. Mi chamocha ba'elim Hashem, mighty ones, is el. So el is loshen koach v'chosek. So El means strong, probably the Lashon of Ayil comes from Lashon of El. It means there's a tremendous amount of strength. And when we're talking about HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Eloi Kim, we're talking about that he's Takiv v'amitz asher loy hayecholos bel yonim uvetachtoyim. So this is by, not what he says. This is the Kavana, Shehu Takif Vaamitz, strong and powerful. Asher Loi Hayechoilis, what makes him powerful? That he has the ability, doesn't say what ability, just says he has the ability. Be'el Yoinim in the higher worlds, Ube Tachtoinim. How do I know that, says the Torah? It brings a proof text from Yecheskel. Ki el lashen koyach v'chosek. That we need to understand that the word el means strong. El, like if you want to start a bulldozer company, call it el, <laughs> right? Or a good beer company or something like that. So, so, so um, it mean it means strength. It, re, it refers to power. The line you do with Yaakov. Hmm? It should be kel, kel yadiyak. Yeah, but but uh, the thing is, you know. As you know, so it's um, it's a shame Kodesh, and it's a shame Chol. Uh, sometimes it's Kodesh, sometimes you say Elohim, and sometimes you say Elohim. Elohim Acherim Bishdach Avisa. And and Mi Chamocha Be'elim Hashem. So sometimes it's Kodesh, sometimes it's Chol. Not just El is Kodesh and Chol, El Melech Neman, but but even um, Elohim. We have you Ad Dover Ad Ho Elohim. So Elohim means those who have the power and those who have the strength. That's what the word means. I'm referring to God, it becomes Kodesh. But it doesn't need to refer to God, interestingly. Whereas we would never say that, um, you know, somebody is like uh, Yudke Vavke. You know, we don't use that kind of a lotion. We do say somebody could be an Adon. So we can also refer to a person, right? It, you have to be careful. Between, and Dikto, um, between, you know, like, I, I know the Chazanish, somebody said that he learned to, to um, he learned his Hebrew, um, so he learned in a, in a, um, in a modern Hebrew uh, uh, classroom. So it, in, in modern Hebrew, there's a very, very um, small difference between a kamatz and a patach. patach. So, um, so you would say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ata Adonai. <laughs> so what happened to Anoi or Ato? So in modern Hebrew, I don't know why, um, they, they dropped the kamatz. Uh, apparently there is some difference, but they, uh, um, uh, um, they decided in their wisdom to make it indistinguishable. Make it just easier, it's, it's just easier. So, no, so, the, so somebody asked the Chazanish, can he daven that way? That's the way he davens. Like, is there an Indian of Titoish Teresi my My grandfather's from Poland, they didn't daven that way. Should I daven that way? So the Chazanish said you can daven any way you want, but the only thing is, that when it comes to Adonai, say noi, don't say nai. Because nai is plural. <laughs> so uh, that was the only, the only thing that he said, everybody should be mocked, um, not to say nai. So, nai. Okay. So the Chazanish said. But um, then it be, because since it can be used as a shame chol, then it could also be plural. So this, this noi part is, um, you could have Adonai. Do you know it's spelled the same way with other comments? Yeah, but it's, you're talking, so the whole, no, but the whole thing is a creed. It's not a creed. It doesn't make a difference how it's spelled. The whole thing is not spelled that way. It's no, spelled Yudke Vavke. Like when Avram speaks in Malachi, he uses that. Oh, language. that's a machlaikis there in Rishonim, whether he meant uh, Chol or whether he meant Kodesh. That's Gufa, Gufa and Machlaik is what he meant. So, um, but the, the point is that the, the, um, the Torah, I just read you the whole thing, does not say what Rukhaim Elohim says he says. Um, so we've been dying in the um, 
in the Nefesh Achaim, he doesn't say that the Tur says that. He says, Kamosh Mavur, the Tur Arachaim, as you'll, as, as is Mavur. So what is, what is the, the um, Tur says that he's the strongest in the high worlds and the low worlds. Um, so the, the Nefesh Achaim says, okay, so that's Takif Ubal Hakoychos Kula. And Shulchan Aruch, interestingly, the, the Chachma of the of Shulchan Aruch, he quotes the Torah verbatim, almost. Yechavin babrachos per the simen hey perish hamilus hamilos kishiasker hashem yechavin perish kri asay ba'adnu shu adon kol yechavin b'ksivasa yud hey shaya hayvaviya almost the same u ba'askira elohim but when you think when you say elohim yechavin shehu takiv ba'la yecholas u ba'la kaychis kulam so the Shulchan Aruch is exactly what the Rav Chaim Elijah quotes. So why does he quote the Torah and not the Shulchan Aruch? Because what the Shulchan Aruch was doing here is he was being Mavayar, the Torah. Where did the Torah get it from? Who knows? The Torah has no Makar to say that this is what Elohim, except for the Pasuk in Yecheskel that says that El is a strong Lashem. So now, now let's, let's take it a step further. What about it? The Inyan. So now we're talking about Selam Eloi Kim. The Inyan Mashahu Yisbarach Nikra Baal Kochos. The Inyan of the fact that Hashem is called the Baal HaKochos. Let, let me, let's, let's pause. What does it mean? Simple translation. Hu uh, Yisbarach Shmoi Baal HaKochos Kula. How would you understand it simply? How do you understand it? The what? Like all Meaning, what? Maybe he can do what he wants. He can do whatever he wants. <coughs> so he can do whatever he wants. He's the force behind all things that happen. Why do you say that? What's your What's your translation? That 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 Hashem is the other. And he's you realize you're saying something completely different. Um, you weren't listening. The, he you know, the portion of Shad and Balakayt is Kulai, which Avram said. Is that he can do whatever he wants to do? Do whatever he wants. And you're saying the what? But he's the force behind everything that happens. And what's your word? <clears throat> so, so you're saying something? He's a He's a third level. What's that? Let's look at the second one. <laughs> In other words, he's he's a bailam over the kaychos. Not he's a bal koyach. Like a Baal of bias or a Baal uh, whatever, uh, whatever Baal you are. But, but, but it's not the shot that he's, he's a Baalim that he has Koa. Very big difference. He, he is the Baalim over to Kochos. Meaning, see Kochos? You see Kochos? Rabbits have Kochos, people have Kochos, kings have Kochos, right? The world, gravity, nature has Kochos. There's a lot of Kochos. You want to know who the Baalim of the Kochos is? That he's the Baalim of the Kochos. Different idea. Nice, nice deal. What's the third level? That's what I was going to say. That is what he said. Okay. There is a third level. There's a PowerPoint. What's a PowerPoint mean? PowerPoint. Like he generates the code. Huh. Like we, I would say he's a force behind the forces. He makes the force. He makes the force. <laughs> so, like, there's a machine, let's say. Tell me if this is correct. There's a machine can do all kinds of things, a car. And, and, but if you're the driver, you're the Baal Hagola. <laughs> so the Baal Hagola <coughs> is the one who knows the ropes. But, but you didn't make the car, though. <coughs> you didn't make the car. He made yeah. the car in the forces. Like, he made it. Like an animal should make uh, Like a what? An animal. I mean, animal can do its own. Uh, it still has a body. Uh, right. Baal Hashor. Yeah, Baal Hashor. So. So, what, so let's get to a, a third and even a fourth level, I think. But what we have here is, is two ways to understanding simple pshat, baal hakoichos kulam. Now, the, the, so either it means that he can do anything he wants to do, or it means that any koach that you see in the world, he's the bailam of that koach. That's, that's the two possibilities we have on the table. <coughs> Comes to Rechaim Elazen and he says... Now I'll tell you what the Indian Mashahu Yisbarach Nikra Baal Hakochos. What does it mean that he's the Baal Hakochos? 
Kiloi kimi das basar. And here is one paragraph, simple paragraph, sounds easy, very difficult, very existentialist. Kiloi kimi das basar vadam midas hakadosh baruch You can't compare a man to God. Ki adam, because a person kishabona binyan derech mashal miyets. Let's say a person builds a building, takes a piece of wood, builds a building, right? Ein habona bore umamsi az mikoychay haets. It's not that he's building the building, really. He's putting together a building. He's taking pieces of Gashmias that exist, and he's using it to make a house. He's taking a tree which exists. He's taking stones which exist. He's taking domain, tzomeach, chai, maybe. And, and, and uh, you see, this is the side of what they did in Mitzrayim, of putting people into the bricks. Domain, tzomeach, chai. They're not a madaber, you know. And, and, and... And making bricks and mortar out of it. So this is this is um, what a person does. Kishabona binyan derech mashal mi eight. So let's say you're building it from wood. Ain habona bore yomam se oz mi koychay ha eights. He's not creating the wood. Rakshalei keach eights him shekvar nivru. He's taking wood which was already created. O mesad drum bevinyan. He's just organizing them into a building. Now that I've got this building standing the way I want it to be standing, even if he now walks away from it, the builder can die. He's no longer there. The building stays standing. On the other hand, Hashem... HaKadosh Baruch who created the world ex nihilo, right, from nothing to something, everything that exists, in other words, um, he who made the wood, if he walks away from the wood, the wood is no longer wood. If Hashem would take his koach out of the Bria even for a second, the whole world would go back to zilch. Okay. So we, we, we're familiar with the concept because everybody at one point or another has seen this nefesh achayim. But let's, let's understand two things, two very important things. Uh, number one is, I have to tell you, uh, uh, that, that's not what Bala Koifas Kulam means. Bala Koifas Kulam means that he can do anything, or he's the Bailam on everything. But why does it mean that, unlike a person, I put the pieces of wood together and hopefully it lasts? HaKadosh Baruch Hu, made the pieces, made the ingredients, made the raw material, so if he moves away from it, it won't last. Why is that the definition of, of Balakar school and why is the definition, why is that the definition of Elohim? First, first question, why is it, why? <laughs> like of all the definitions, he takes one that nobody's at. Not level one, not level two, not level three. Because the, if, he's, if he's the force of everything, then he's in everything, so uh, if he takes it away, it's gone. That, that's maybe. I mean, this, the way you describe it, each other, the Fisher Khan is saying that one definition, pull the book, something Gashmi. The Khara exists. A Kurdish Baruch, if he is he gonna act on that Gashmi or is he gonna pull his force out of the raw material and create that Gashmi? I don't know. Like um, how, how, how do you know? In other words, the, the Aristotelian model is that God made the world and it walked away from it. Hence, hence, there's some chaos around going around here. Uh, the, the, in other words, there's an I, there's there is a possibility that he did such a good job of creating the world that it just simply works, just like a uh, building works, um, even if even if the guy um, is no longer with us. There's buildings today that are a few thousand years old. So, so it worked. It was good. Well done. Well, good job. It's not it's not mukrach. So, I mean, so the question is, there's two questions here that I'm trying to understand. Number one is, like, why does he pick? The, the most, um, I think, the most unobvious um, definition of Elohim, Balakochos Kulam. And the second thing is, how does he even know that's true? How, how does he know, that, like, 
I mean, we know uh, instinctively that it's true, but how does he even know that, that, in other words, if you want to understand that Hashem Koch, it's different than a person's Koch. And okay, so, Hanzer Rabbi Avram, Hanzer Shatuvi, Hanzer Rabbi Gracious. Who said that? No, it's not a Pasuk either. It's a, it's a Chazal. Huh? Okay, so what, what's the, I mean, it's a, it's a Chazal. Hanzer Shatuvi, Hanzer Rabbi Gracious. So, Hanzer Rabbi Gracious. Do. Domain also has a call. So if, if he gives the call to the to domain, to the piece of wood, then and he if he is no longer present, then, then he can't be a Balkoff of the domain. The domain wouldn't have any call. So if he's if he's a Balkoff, then he gave Koach, now you're on your own. What's wrong? You're a rock. No, but it, you're a rock. But we're calling him the existent Balkoff. We're not calling him the he once was a Balkoff and now he's no longer a Balkoff. If, he's, if he is currently still a Balkoch of the domain, so therefore then, al then he must be constantly giving the Koach to the domain. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, you see, the problem I'm having, I mean, I, I, yes, the answer is, of course, you're right. But um, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that, I want to be precise, why is this true? Like, we don't see it, like nothing falls apart. You know, like we don't see it. Uh, I mean, it does fall apart if we make it, I mean, right. eventually. Over time. Over time. But so do trees, and so do people that Hashem made. It's not a, um, the world, per se, doesn't fall apart. The sun keeps coming up. It's a, it's a, it's a kishmak. <laughs> I mean, it's like uh, something to be happy about. The, the sun keeps coming up because uh, trees die, people die. The sun doesn't seem to die. But, by the way, the, 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 do you know this, that the, the word shemesh is, means shamesh. It's a, Close to Shamash So here, here's the here's the Indian. Let me just explain this briefly because we're running out of time, and then we'll be myrich in it. Um, the, the, according to the the um, according to the Zayar, the, to um, Brachus Bara Elokim, Zayar, right there, Brachus Bara Elokim, that when Hashem um, created the world. Um, everything has in it the components of its raw materials. Right? If you if you really want to understand like how long this piece of wood um, will will last, so you can ask a carpenter. I'll tell you by experience. You can wiki it, but but you're not going to know unless you really know the. Um, the, the makeup of fundamentals, right? The, the the actual physical scientific makeup of the wood. It has properties in it, and some will last longer. Some has more resin. Some has less resin. Some has uh, you know whatever you know. Mm. Uh, tighter weave. Well, you have to really look at it from a molecular point of view to really understand the wood. But it's as good as its molecules. So everything's as good as its raw materials. What's the raw material of the world at large that Hashem created? What's the raw material? Hmm? Or, no, let's say good. Let's say be precise. Cool. What's the wrong with you? Ayin. Ayin. Nothing. Hashem created Yesh. <clears throat> May Ayin. So, what's everything made out of? Made out of Ayin. <laughs> everything's, everything's made out of nothing. <laughs> Yesh. He took, in other words, Yesh we Ayin. Um, ex nihilo, he made something out of nothing. What's nothing? Nothing is a thing. So, so he took ayin, and from that ayin, he made yesh. What's your recipe? You know, half a cup of ayin, another half a cup of ayin, another half a cup of ayin, and you get yesh. <laughs> it's yesh, yesh me ayin. The Rabbim describes this at the beginning of Novus Yisodiyah The Rabbim describes that it's, it's important for us to understand that yesh mi'ayin means that the ingredients of the world is, is nothing. It means to say that this was this miracle, which is impossible to understand, of making something from nothing. How do you make something out of nothing? Nobody could do this. Not the, uh, the, there's no chemist that can do this. There's no alchemist that can do it. They tried. <laughs> but there, there, there's no, right? That's the, you know, let's make gold. But, um, you, can't, you can't do it. Uh, you can't make something out of nothing. Um, but it's not I just am I clear? It's not, it's not like poof, something out of nothing. The ingredients of something is nothing. Yesh uh, That miracle of Yesh that's happening all the time, because if it's something that was created 
and its raw ingredients are something which is measurable or molecular. So you could say this molecule is going to last 10 years, 1,000 years, a million years. But if the shot is that the ingredients is nothing, why does everything exist? So the answer is Elohim. <laughs> That, that he who created is standing behind his product. Meaning, I'm, I'm, who's in charge of nothing? <laughs> and letting it be something. This miracle of something, it's a miracle, it's an ongoing miracle, that nothing is based on, that something is based on nothing. That ongoing miracle is the Koach of Hashem. That Koach, says the Zayar, is called Elikim. The Koach, El means Koach. The, the Koach... The, the koach that Hashem put in everything that came from nothing is called Elikim. So, Bracious Bara Elikim, as Hashem Ayimah's heart. The koach of, I'll tell you something, um, you see this, if you're on Nefesh Shechaim, big secret, that um, the, the world, Va'olam Haya, I said, Tohu Vavohu. Tohu is interchangeable with the word Ayim. Yesh um, ayin tohu vo is a different thing, but tohu it's um, it's ayin ve'efes. That's the way that's the way it works in the Zayar, and that's Nefesh Chaim takes this as a as a basic kabbalistic yisoid. That there's tohu va, tohu ve'efes ayin ve'efes rather tohu vavo. So tohu is ayin. So when we say ayin, we're talking about Esainai Elohar, me ayin Yavoy Ezri. It doesn't have to have any physical properties in order to become something which is good for us. That, that, that which Hashem helps me, um, it doesn't have to have any physical, it's not, it, it doesn't have to be a molecular buildup of yesh me yesh. It could be yesh me ayin, because he still does that. So, no bukasha. So, me ayin. Yavai Ezri, not from whence. Uh, that's what it means. From where? From, from or, or more more precisely, from nowhere. From source. Yavai Ezri. No, don't 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 uh, trip yourself up with words. <laughs> the force is already something. The source, source. The source, source. I'm sorry, source. You see, because we will say it's a force. It's not a force. Force no, is already yesh. So ayin is be, is beyond anybody's understanding. The, the, that miut of uh, of Sisri Torah that we that's not in here is the ayin part of it. We're talking we're talking about the yesh. So so when Hashem created the world, al karchach, he's the baal hakoychus, and this is the third level. The third level is he can do anything he wants to do. Okay, he's the boss. The, the second level is he's the bailam on the koychus, and the third level is he is the koychus. Uh, in other words, yesh uh, mi'ayin perforce um, uh, tells us that that everything that exists continuously exists only because he wants them to exist. So if you take yesh mi'ayesh, like you build a house, as he says, so now it's as good as the as the wood that you used and the workmanship that was there. A couple of yeshes got together and made another yesh. Could do that. Two people could come together and make a baby. <coughs> yesh mi yesh. But the, but the yesh mi ayin, the properties are nothing. So since the properties are nothing, so this, then, then if HaKadosh Baruch Hu would go away, so then it's not that the world would be destroyed or there would be a nuclear war or, um, or that it would even disintegrate it, which just simply cease to exist. It's not, it's not um, see, like there's a difference between a light bulb and the light. The light bulb is there, whether the light's on or not on. Or the, the, the light that's coming from it um, when you shut the switch, it's it's missing. It's right. It's <laughs> it's nothing there. Uh, uh, let me just tell you before we end here, just because this is such an important thing. I, I really need you to um, take take this seriously and ponder it, but uh, because it's, the whole safer is based on this. But um, give you a good mashal in halacha that um, you have a shaliach, you have a mashalach, right? Um, I make you a shaliach to be makadah shalisha. So. On the one hand, you say shliach shaladim kimosa, and then you know they, they say a joke, they, you know, like apologize through a shield. So, you know, I should make your shliach to apologize. So they they uh, 
or I make your shlich to be Menachem Avel or to be Mubakar Cholim. So the, the joke is, Shlicham Kamoisa, it's like a mace, you know, it's like setting a boat, a boat, so like, you know. But, um, but it's not such a joke. Like, because um, Shlichus, the Shaliach, is Kamosa, but he's only as good as the Mishalach. Meaning, if, if a person makes somebody a Shaliach to be Makadosh and Isha, and then the Mishalach dies, so he's, he's always Shaliach because he's only a. Um, his, his koach is the, the, the Torah is Machadosh, his koach is the koach of the Meshalach. Doesn't have any koach, right? Have an Avram Anoich. Eliezer said, I'm, 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 just, I'm just a shaliach. I, I can't, I'm, I'm only as good, I'm only as good as the, as the Meshalach. So if, if the Meshalach is, is in the middle of the shaliach, it says he's no longer a shaliach, that's a Gemara. If he says he's no longer a shaliach, the guy goes out, he's Makadish to each everything is a Sagardish, because he, even if he doesn't die, if he's just Husar Ashlichus, then the Shlichus doesn't work. Because he's only a Yad Arichta. The Yad can't be any any better than the Mishalah. So it's a, it's the same type of thing that, that when we're talking about the creation of the world, we're talking about a, a sort of a, a Shlichus in the sense that the, the world can only be as good as the Mishalah, as Hakadish Baruch. So on the one hand, it's like, wow, what a, what a holy concept that HaKadosh Baruch Hu's in everything, like somebody um, wanted to say. I, I, I don't want to go there because that's the whole Simpson issue. But, but where, what is clear, and that's why he's talking about Simpson even from the very beginning, is that without the kochos of Hashem, this world um, would, would just cease to exist, like the Mashalach takes away his shlichus, the shliach is, is bankrupt. He's in the middle of the desert someplace negotiating deals, but you're not, you're not a shliach. <laughs> you could sign my checks, but if I take the money out of the bank, so what good is it that you can sign my checks? All you're doing is you're not doing anything. So, so, so that's, that's the, what we need to understand. The, 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 the yesh mi'ayin is mechaev di baal hakoichos kulam, and that's how, by the way, Rav Chaim Velazhin learned that the Shulchan Aruch learned the tour. That he's a takif b'chol el yarnos b'chol atach toynos. That since he's a, since he his koach is not that he makes it happen. Not, he he is the the, the bal koach and all of the el yarnim and the tach So so therefore um, he's bal koiches kulam. He's not just a bailam on the koiches. He is the koiches of the whole world. He's the bal koach. He's the, he's the bailus. In other words, he's the bailam on, the, on, the, on those koichas. And as the bailam, um, everything that happens is, is Hashem's in it. Because why? Because Miyayin, Yavah Ezri. I have a question about Medaban. We also have to be able to hear. Because Hashem tells us what to do. He tells us to make the Teva, tells us to make the Mishkan, tells us to make the victim, faith the Mikdash. He doesn't do those things, although he could do them. That's our part of it. I mean, I know, but animals here too. They're here, but they don't understand. They don't know why they follow orders. Sick of them. They follow orders too. So the, 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 the co-op over here is, of Medaber is more that you can create. Uh-huh. In other words, Hashem gave us a co-op to create. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where we need to go. That's the Tselem part? Tselem part is that, right. In other words, we're as close to the Creator as can possibly be. But, but we're only, you see, here's the thing. We're only at Tselem of Elohim. We're not at Tselem of... of that seems Bob like K. the last name that you could possibly use for Tselem because it's describing how Hashem is completely intangible and to us. and it's Not, 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 as, much, of not as much as Yudke Vavke, or those are much more... Um, Aloof. But the idea of koach that is always sustaining something, that's the, the, as he says, the, the man can't do that. So, so that's the chiddush, that you can. But man can also that, sustain That is the chiddush. In other words, we can't do shakai, we can't do yudkei vavkei, we can't do any of that stuff, but we can do elokim. We can take, we can, being, being with selam means that we, we do have koach over to Bria itself. That's, that's what the Sefer is written for. But it's 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 limiting us to, on, on one level to only Elohim. But on the other hand, it's huge. Like what, what look the, at the world. Yeah, it's huge. Well, we can destroy the world. That's right. the, look at the world. I mean, we can destroy the world. We can build the world. That's Tzelem Elohim. 
it's, it's, it's just, a, it's, it's huge. But it's not as ethereal as Selim Yudke Vavke, which is an impossible. That's why I say, if you say, I'm but Selim Havaya, that's not the curse. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh.